Hello, I'm Greg Redke of Redke Mods, and I thought I would let you guys know that it is totally fine to update to the Creators update of Windows 10. In fact, in future Windows 10's upgrades, I believe there won't be any issues updating, thanks to now knowing how to remap your drives and remount them onto your computer. That's not a big issue. In fact, you can go to this link right here to see how to do that. It works exactly the same as it did in the anniversary update. I have been testing the creator's update for over a month now with the pre-release and tested it for the month to make sure everything was fine. Originally I was going to release this video in mid-March but decided to keep testing it. The update was very painless. It was the most painless update I have ever done on a Windows 10 install on a Mac. There was no issues whatsoever. In fact, it was a lot easier than going from the November update to the anniversary update. There was no driver drops where you had unidentified hardware again. The only problems it did have was, for instance, my MacBook it reinstalled the broken Microsoft Wi-Fi driver, which was easy to roll back to the Broadcom driver. Also, if you have a weird card setup in your Mac Pro like I do, with a GT120 and a GTX 970, you'll have that driver issue that you'll always have when you have a major update to Windows 10. But it's very easy to fix, and it took me about 10 minutes to fix it. Anyway, if you need to know how to do that, you can click this link right here to redo the driver conflict fix. That isn't a big issue. And like I said, there was no unidentified hardware issues. And remapping the drive was easy. So now you can see all my Mac drives again. And you can see Boot Camp 6 is up. No problems with that. You can see it just got the HFS driver here and that it is running the creators update build 15063 and it's got 2017 copyright this is the creators update there's no tomfoolery here this works and I can also show you that the boot camp 4 drivers still work fine on a 32-bit install and show you that my other Mac Mini is running the 64-bit totally fine once again. So here we go. Here's my 32-bit Mac Mini still running with no problems. You can see that it's x86 based and it is running the 32-bit copy of Windows. Everything is still working fine. Boot Camp 4 is up and the drives are showing right here. Also my 64-bit here x86 x64 based PC it's totally fine the drives are showing everything's good. Here's my MacBook running the build 15063 with no issues. Everything is working great. Now I did have a few Small problems with the older 32-bit EFI Macs like the Mac Mini, the less powerful ones. The start menu seems a little more sluggish, but Windows 10 keeps speeding back up with every update, and the sluggishness is going away. It's still working fine. It's still very snappy. No issues there. It I thought I'd just let you know it does get a little sluggish at times, but with continue updates, I don't think the sluggishness will stick around very long. So anyway, so I'll now demonstrate that Boot Camp 6 is still working fine on my MacBook, and then we'll wrap up the video. We'll first do the brightness controls. And then we can do the sound. And finally, we'll test the eject 
function on the optical drive. And there we go. And there you go. There is all the proof you need to update to Windows 10's Creator's Update. In fact, I would highly recommend updating to it because it adds a lot more features and it's the most current version. Like I said before, I'll let you guys know if there's any other Windows 10's updates that need anything more. But just assume that they're always going to be compatible with your boot camp unless I let you guys know differently. And if you need to ever roll back, you have 10 days to do so to roll back to your previous build. And I will be releasing videos on how to do that and how to force update your Windows 10's install. And I'll leave those links in the description when those come out. I may also link them to in the video, but we shall see on that. Anyway, so thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video. It is totally compatible with your Mac. In fact, I've been testing the pre-release of the Why Is My Windows Not Activated?